This video is to explain well decay phenomena associated with stainless steel. Weld decay is a corrosion cracking that mainly occurs as a result of sensitization in the heat-affected zones of metal during welding operations. This failure occurs in stainless steels or certain nickel-based alloys. Weld decay also known as sensitization or intracrystalline corrosion or intergranular corrosion. Basically, it's associated with welding but is not a fabrication defect. It is a service failure problem caused by corrosion. How and why heat affected zone becomes sensitized? The chromium is main element in austenitic stainless steel which provide corrosion resistant. So, we can say reduction of chromium in steel will reduce the corrosion resistance and steel will become susceptible to corrosion-related failure. Before going into detail, just keep in mind that the susceptible temperature range for sensitization is approximately 400 degrees Celsius to 815 degrees Celsius. During welding operation different temperature zone are created. The steel melting temperature is approximately 1500 degrees Celsius. In weld pool temperature remain between 2000 degrees Celsius to 1500 degrees Celsius. Since temperature is very high in weld pool. So subsequent cooling rate will be very high which will suppress any sensitization and subsequent formation of chromium carbides. But the temperature of heat affected zone remains approximate between 800 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius during welding operation. At this temperature, carbon diffuses to the grain boundaries and combines with chromium to form carbides leaving a chromium-depleted layer susceptible to corrosion along the grain boundaries, therefore corrosion cracking occurs along grain boundaries in the heat-affected zone. When in service affected sensitization alloys, exposure to elevated temperatures. It further accelerates formation of chromium carbides. But cracking may propagate rapidly through the wall thickness of piping and components in a matter of minutes or hours. In event of a combination of adverse environmental, service condition, corrosive material, and stress. For stress both residual and applied stress to be considered. This is known as stress corrosion cracking normally occurred during shutdowns startups or during operation when air and moisture are present. For instance, metallic components form a surface sulfide scale when exposed to sulfur compounds. The scale may react with air, oxygen, and moisture to form sulfur acids also known as polythionic acid. In that case cracking could be due to sulfur acids forming from sulfide scale air and moisture acting on sensitized austenitic stainless steels. In simple words, it is all because of the reduction of chromium and grain boundaries, since there is no sufficient chromium and grain boundaries to create strong defenses against adverse and pro-corrosion environmental service conditions. Affected units or equipment all units where sensitized alloys are used in sulfur-containing environments. Commonly damaged equipment includes heat exchanger tubes, furnace tubes, and piping. Fired heaters burning oil, gas, coke and most other sources of fuel may be affected depending on sulfur levels in the fuel. Severe cases have been found in FCC. Fluid catalytic cracking units, air rings, plenums, slide valves, cyclone components, expansion joint bellows, and piping. In hydroprocessing units, heater tubes, hot feed slash effluent exchanger tubes, bellows. 
Crude and coker units, piping. Boilers and high temperature equipment exposed to sulfur containing combustion products. Tension mitigation. Weld decay can be avoided by keeping the carbon low, using low carbon grades like 304L, 316L, and 317L, and avoiding heat exposure by not doing preheating in PWHT. Low carbon grades such as 304L, 316L, 317L provide some measure of improvement over controlled carbon grades. Low carbon L grades contain less than 0.03% carbon which are less susceptible and usually can be welded without sensitizing the heat affected zone. In service the L grades will not sensitize provided long term operating temperatures do not exceed about 400 degrees Celsius. If welding higher carbon grades use low heat input welding in fewest weld runs possible, less time available in temperature range when chromium carbides form. Use stabilized grades of stainless steel, 321 and 347, which contain titanium 321 and niobium 347 which combine with carbon rather than chromium so no localized reduction in corrosion resistance. It is possible to remove heat-affected zone sensitivity by solution heat treatment of the welded item. As this requires temperature of 1050 to 1100 degrees Celsius,